love wants best for her kids. Daddy only wants what's best for Daddy. That is peace and quiet, pandering to his delusion of dignity, a good reflection of himself, and the opportunity to control and manipulate. Or, if he's an enlightened father, to give guidance, trained from an early childhood in niceness, politeness, and dignity. In pandering into the male needs to disguise his animalism, she obligingly reduces her own conversation to a small talk, a bland, insipid avoidance of any topic beyond utterly trivial. The greatest national product, the common market, the influence of one born symbolist paintings, so adept is she at pandering that eventually becomes second nature. And she continues to pander to men even when in the company of the females only. The male is completely egocentric, trapped inside himself, incapable of empathizing or identifying with others. On love, friendship, affection, or tenderness, he is a completely isolated unit, incapable of a power with anyone. His responses are entirely bicycle, not cerebral. His intelligence is a mere tool in the service of his drives and needs. He is incapable of mental passion, mental interaction. He can't relate to anything other than his own physical sensations. He is a half-dead, unresponsive room, incapable of giving or receiving pleasure or happiness. Consequently, he is at best an utter bore in an offensive block. Since he is only capable of absorption in others, can be charming. He is trapped in a twilight zone, halfway between humans and apes, and is far worse off than apes, because unlike the apes, he is capable of a large array of negative feelings. Hate, jealousy, contempt, disgust, guilt, shame, no doubt, and moreover, he is aware of what he is and what he isn't. Now the female's individuality, which he is acutely aware of, but which he does not comprehend and isn't capable of relating to or grasping emotionally frightens and upsets him and fills him with envy. So he denies it in her and proceeds to define everyone in terms of his or her functions or use. The sick of rational men whose attempt to defend themselves against their disgustingness and they see scum barreling them down, they'll cling to terror to big mama and have big bouncy boobies. The boobies won't protect them against scum. Big mama will be clinging to big daddy. He'll be in the corner shitting in his forceful, dynamic pants. The male changes anyone forced to do so by technology when he has no choice and so to reach a stage where he must change or die. we at that stage now. If women don't get their asses in gear fast, we may very well all die. die.